and we hope that our words uh, just might be heard uh, to prompt some sort of action. Uh, we feel obligated uh, that uh, we somehow must reflect the cries of the people in Bihach, and if we can't uh, uh, scream uh, and reflect uh, their own suffering, their own pain, then at least we're going to try to make sure that the world does not forget the injustice in its, in its own uh, demands in Bihach. That's why we're moving ahead with uh, anything at this point in time to try to bring about some action. Is there anything left for you? Uh, the Russians here are not defending just Serbia and Montenegro. They're defending actually those people who are slaughtering the civilians of Bihać right now. They're actually defending the interests of those people who have invaded our country. The British, uh, I think they're resigned to seeing a uh, member of the United Nations uh, swallowed up by an aggressor. Uh, the French, they seem to be just as inclined to go along with the rest of the community to continue to reward the aggressor until, in fact, the aggressor is satisfied, until that appetite has been quenched. And unfortunately, the United States, at least this administration, seems to be giving in uh, to this uh, inevitable trend uh, that they perceive. Uh, so I don't know if we have any friends left except those other small countries who could face the same type of problem, uh, the same type of aggression that we faced. Certainly, the big powers of the world, I think, have given up uh, their responsibility. I think they're using this uh, United Nations as a place where excuses are made rather than where action is uh, undertaken and where principles and legality are upheld. Both um, we and the United States have tried the multilateral approach to trying to bring peace to Bosnia. Obviously, this multilateral approach is um, not effective. It's effectively been compromised uh, by the role of the Russian Federation, the United Kingdom, and even France in uh, really undermining any uh, measures that could be effective in not only bringing uh, ceasefire uh, to Bihać, but also peace to all of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I think now it's really time to re-examine unilateral approaches to bringing peace to Bosnia. And I think uh, uh, we should uh, once again reevaluate the message, uh, the advice that's coming from the U.S. Congress regarding uh, peace in Bosnia. Uh, certainly the allies, so-called European allies, have not, proven, uh, them, have not proved themselves to be worthy of that name. And the Russian Federation, frankly, I think, uh, has failed uh, to show that it is in any way changed from the old Soviet Union.